Hey guys, Brittany Delamora here. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, today I really wanna to talk to you about walking in freedom. You know, walking in freedom is always so big on my heart because for those of you who don't know, I was in the adult film industry for seven years of my life. Um, I was also a full-blown addict. I did so many drugs, um, heroin, crystal meth, cocaine, pills, and you know, now today I have been sober for six years. I've been out of the porn industry as well for six years. Um, I'm also a preacher. I go around the world. I travel and evangelize with my husband and you know, I've really been set free. So many times when I would go to different NA and AA classes, they'd say once an addict, always an addict. But you know, today I'm here to speak the truth and I don't believe that because I believe that where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom and that who the sun sets free is free indeed so here I am today I'm no longer a slave to addiction you know I don't crave drugs I don't crave alcohol I don't desire to get back into the porn industry because Jesus has truly set me free and I see so many people in life who walk around and you know they they genuinely try to be good people but then when they go home they battle with an addiction to pornography or they have so much envy and hatred in their hearts and you know when they see that their ex is getting married, they can't rejoice because they're so hurt and, and they're so envious. And you know, there's a better life to live. You don't have to be a slave to sin. You don't have to be a slave to your emotions. You don't have to be a slave to addiction. There truly is freedom in Christ. And so, you know, what that looks like is that you just, you have a pure heart. You know, when you see others that maybe get a blessing that you've been praying for for years, you can truly be happy for them. You know, no longer do you go home and battle with drugs or alcoholism or pornography addictions like these things are no longer your battles because you've truly been set free by Jesus it was definitely a process for me to get set free when I first became a Christian you know I stumbled into church drunk and I just felt this feeling and I got these goosebumps all over me and I remember telling somebody like I just feel these chills when I come here and and the guy told me you know that's the spirit of the Lord and I said how can I get this spirit every single day and so what I started doing is when I would every morning when I would wake up I would turn on my favorite worship song I would then pray and then I would read the Bible I've been doing this every day for six years you know when what would happen is when I would attract the spirit of the Lord then we learn that where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom so the more time that I spend in in the presence of God the more set free I'm going to be so it was this process of like removing the hurt removing you know the pain removing the addictions and you know God would would give me words and I remember one time he told me Brittany flush your drugs down the toilet and I'll be honest with you I didn't want to do that because for seven years of my life I I'd been on drugs and I would get dope sick but this day I decided to take this crazy step of faith and I said, okay, I'm gonna flush my drugs down the toilet. And that was the first time in seven years that I didn't get dope sick. Because whenever you're obedient to what God tells you to do, there's gonna be a blessing behind it. See, obedience to God is always a good thing. And so every time God would give me a word, I would just, I would just listen and I would say, okay, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate my faith by listening to you. You know, another thing that I battled with a lot that I had to be set free from was shame. You know, so many times we can't move on in life because we're too ashamed of what we've done. And we allow that to hold us back in life. You know, if you've been battling with shame, allow the Lord to set you free from that today because what he did on the cross was more than enough to cover whatever mistake, whatever sin, whatever it is that you're ashamed of, what Jesus did for you was more than enough. Who cares what people think about you? You know, we could spend our whole life caring about what somebody thinks of us and then that person you know hopefully not but could pass away tomorrow and now you just spent your whole life caring about what they thought about you be set free don't allow people to dictate you in life so 
practical advice to get set free from whatever it is that you might be battling with. Maybe it's just you can't let go of that hurt and that pain and you have so much unforgiveness in your heart. Maybe it's like me, an addiction. You know, maybe there's just this lifestyle that you're living and you desperately want out of it. What I would tell you to do is get into the presence of God. You know, the Bible says that when we take delight in the Lord, that he gives us the desires of our heart. So the more time that we spend in the presence of the Lord, our, the desires of our heart actually change. We no longer desire the drugs. We no longer desire the anger. We don't desire the jealousy because truly the desire of our heart just changes. It's not like you have to all of a sudden change yourself because you're seeking God. No, the spirit of the Lord just changes you and makes you a different person. It makes you a new creation. And so that's the first step is really seek God. And step two, I would say get an accountability partner. Find somebody that you can open up to, somebody that you trust, that you can just be vulnerable with. You know, hey, I'm battling with you know, not forgiving this person, or I just, I want to get high today, you know, whatever it might be, find somebody that can encourage you, give you wisdom, pray for you, and give you godly counsel, because you're going to need that in your life. You need somebody to do life with. Don't try to do this alone, because, you know, I've never met anybody that's successful that has done everything alone. So, Find an accountability partner. Step three, start serving in church. You know, serve in your local community because when you get your eyes off yourself and you start serving other people, it does something in your heart. You're no longer so focused on me, myself, and I got to get what I want. You know, now you're, you're helping others and you're taking your eyes off yourself to serve others. And serving is really God's heart. And so those are the three practical steps that I would give you. I really hope that this video, you know, encourages encourages you today and I hope that and pray that you get set free. I just speak the spirit of the Lord over you. I speak freedom over you. I speak victory and success over your life and I'm so excited to hear uh, your comments. So go ahead and comment below. Make sure that you like this video, share this video and ring that little bell so that you can get all the notifications when my husband and I bring new videos to you. Love you so much. God bless you and have a wonderful day.